Welcome back. You're watching Money, 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 and this is the children's special. It is, of course, Children's Day throughout this week for us right here on Money, Money, Money. Now uh, we've discussed, of course, the merits and the demerits of going in for child plans. They come in different shapes and forms. They could be market linked or they could be traditional products. But now, if you don't want to opt for something called the child plan, then how do you construct the right mix, the right balance between insurance? and a mutual funds the investment part of it uh, so that's uh, an approach sir that you've been advocating where does one begin i mean is it good enough to just have a comprehensive one cr term plan and the rest can be just mutual funds i mean how do you segregate these things out to ensure that your basic goals are met so i think segregate is the right word that you have used take your term plan separately not just uh, safeguarding for your child's education safeguarding for as abhijit mentioned your retirement yeah. all your other needs mm. so that if you are not there even then those needs will be met mm -hmm. i think that's separate mm. it should be delinked from your investment now when you look at investments and now you're looking at let's say for your child's plan uh, now most people okay tend to have a dream that they would send their child overseas right mm. and i think that's where Uh, so they have a dollar exposure you should look at investing in mutual funds mm. at least a portion of what you goes for your child so mm. that you get mm. some element of uh, uh, cover against mm. a mm. rapid depreciation of the rupee mm. okay so you invest in mutual funds that in turn mm. invest in uh, foreign markets foreign markets so are you talking about some of these uh, us equity funds us blue chip funds etc right. you That's even have right. you know greater china emerging market asian asian equity funds so i think yeah. as i mentioned mm -hmm. right at the beginning of the show in india foreign education essentially means us mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. at most uk mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. so effectively you should look at dollar exposure if that sure. is your uh, sure. Sure. Uh, phrase. Yeah, I want to add enough. something yeah, here. Yeah. You know, uh, he used the word HNIs, and mm -hmm. I know HNIs do watch your show. And there is a liberalized remittance scheme of Reserve Bank, Bank of India, yeah. which allows investment of two hundred fifty thousand dollars per yeah. financial year mm -hmm. per person. Mm -hmm. And as, as he rightly said, we have a lot of people aspiring to send their children to the U.S. for education. Mm -hmm. And there are U.S. funds, mm -hmm. fund of funds without mm -hmm. insurance, mm -hmm. which will uh, invest in dollars for you. and in the last 40 years mm. if you look at rupee and dollar dollar is appreciated by 4% per annum mm. uh, for the mm. last 40 years on an average mm -hmm. so if you have a vehicle there where mm. it will invest in local fund these are there are fund by jp morgan or by hsbc uh, mm. or by fidelity mm. and certain platforms actually have a option mm. of without remitting the money back mm. sending it as a fee for education Okay. So that is typically okay. a HNI kind of a product, mm -hmm. but that is something I would also uh, request your viewers to take a look at okay. when they look at the okay. segregation for funds for foreign education. For foreign education, and finally coming down to you know last thoughts and the most important thing of, of it all, really insurance. What if I'm not there? And yes. since we, this is a Children's Day special, and we're talking about children. Uh, if you're not doing a child plan, and if you are going to, you know, construct your own insurance matrix along with your financial planner, uh, then Mr. Rungta, uh, term plan, one CR, two CR, three CR, or any other type of insurance policies, what would you recommend? What would go in? So instead of putting a figure, I think mm -hmm. it should be a multiple of your uh, income, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so typically, if you are between thirty, forty, it has to be a fifteen to twenty multiple. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. as you grow older. the multiple will keep coming down although the income will go up yeah. the multiple will keep coming down mm. uh, so i mean at at uh, after your 40 45 maybe 8 to 10 times but mm -hmm. till 45 i would say up mm -hmm. at least 15 times if you're 35 mm -hmm. it should be at least 20 times okay fair enough Mr. Bhave, any last thoughts, any tips, any advice you'd like to leave our viewers with? Uh, I think it's 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 a combination of investments and insurance, mm -hmm. and I think it is something that uh, deserves a hundred percent attention. And I would request every parent who loves mm -hmm. their ch child to look at financial planning for child education as their top priority if they have not done it till now. I think the wise words and a lot of food for thought to end this episode on. Thank you very much for joining us on the show Thank and shedding so light on a lot of these important aspects. We hope this conversation has been fruitful and useful for you viewers out there. So along with planning your vacations and along with planning all the shopping, make sure you're planning the future for your child as well. We'll take your leave on that note. Thank you for watching. Your feedback, comments, queries welcome as always. We'll see you again next week.